Hello and welcome back to the channel. So uh, you're joining me at the back of old Hannibal. So things have been happening. Rust has been being poked and holes are being made and slowly, slowly being filled in. Uh, so I just thought I'd show you a bit of the progress. Um, if you watch Matt of Furious Driving recently, he's having a, a good old festival of uh, rust poking and finding with his uh, W123 Merc. And Hannibal's a bit like that, although to be fair, I knew it would be bad um and it's living up to expectations at the moment um it's not surprising me that much but um you know this is what happens when you ignore rust and fill it and bodge it uh, which i admit to doing uh, over probably what the past 10 years and it was rusty 10 years ago to be fair um so he's lasted quite well but yeah I, i'll take you around into the uh the thing so this was his driver's side rear arch. So uh, just from the outside, as you can see, you may have seen in previous videos before anyway, but he, uh, he's always had rust bubbling up here. And I knew there was holes in here because I filled them and fiberglass them just to limp it along. So this here is absolutely, you know, known about. Um, I knew there was gonna be nothing behind it because I felt behind it. Um, so the reason why there's a bit of an outline here is uh, I've got a repair panel off a car from America. Um, you really need to get bits for these Mark III Supras bodywork wise from dry states in America because anyone you find generally will have rotted just as badly here in the UK um, from various things Toyota did that was supposed to help when new, but in actual fact just means as they get older and, and look, he's, he's 30 years old now, it's it's going to get rusty uh, and bearing in mind these Mark III Supras were rusting 15 years ago so uh yeah so the repair panel why, reason why we sketched out here is this is where it's going to come to so um the outer skin we've got um and a bit of the inner skin we've got we're probably going to have to make it further up into here um as well because as you can see if I take you down here this is the outer skin there where my finger is now and that's the inner um and so there is inner left um but it is sort of going through it and you know that you can sort of do do this to it um so yeah so that's that section uh i'll take you down and in um to the doom <laughs> um so as you can see this outer quarter is now missing also this was all rotten um, as well, this sits behind what I call a spat, which is a rim mud flap. Um, again, I knew there was a, already a, a golf ball size hole here. Uh, I was covering up with a spat and ignoring. So again, <laughs> you know, that was known about. Um, so uh, the inner arch here is obviously gone. This is what should be here, this section. Uh, sorry, the outer arch, the inner arch here also gone. So we've refabricated this. Um, all around here now to put this back in um, and then the inner section so he can take you in just there as well uh, so you can see where the rust goes further up that we're going to have to chop out to so where that rusty line is there that's all going to have to be chopped out because that is rust uh, and remade um, and I was quite proud of myself because I did my first bit of welding uh, on this car um, so uh, Ryan's a great tutor and actually helped me with getting the tax start and telling me what to do and helping me with the fabrication as well so it's very much going to be a project that I want to learn to weld on um, because you have 90s Toyotas you're going to be welding them a lot um, especially as they get older so yeah I was, I was very pleased with how that came out chuffed really um, as you can see you know it gets a bit iffy down there so we may have to chop and fabricate that out um, take you back in the inside so uh yeah this is rusty so it's, it's probably on an angle too much for you but this is the, the rear flank here at the back it actually sort of stops being rusty just past where that is but as you can see this is gonna have to be, all be chopped out um and then folded and re-welded uh, of which the tank will have to come out for the tank as well is in worse condition um than i thought so this is probably going to have to be re renewed as well with perhaps one from the States because they're metal tanks on these. Um, it was rusting again when I saw it from the back sort of 
five, six years ago when I treated it, the rust is sort of starting to split it out now and it's not going to be long before you'll get a hole um, and fuel peeing out everywhere, which is uh, undesirable. So, yeah, it's probably going to have to have another rear tank. Um, it may be savable, I doubt it. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's better than having your fuel all over the floor. Uh, so, yeah, this was just a quick sort of part one as to where we are with old Hannibal. Um, but, uh, yeah, join us for more parts and see how we get along and see how depressed or happy I am by the end of it. Uh, do click like and subscribe if you want to see more of what we're doing and uh, see you all soon. Bye for now.